Today, we're going to visit Tesla's first superchargers in Singapore and also Southeast Asia. And I'll talk about what makes them unique and also the role that they play for Tesla. Let's head upstairs. Welcome back to Investing in Darren. Right behind me are three Tesla superchargers. They're the V3 version, which have 250 kilowatts. And they're located at level nine of Orchard Central Mall, right in the heart of Singapore's shopping district. These Tesla superchargers currently only support Tesla vehicles. And they can charge a Tesla from zero to 80% in less than 27 minutes. That's really fast. Other EV chargers take hours to get a full charge. Elon Musk recommends charging our batteries up to 90 to 95% and not to 100% because at 100% regenerative braking which captures energy when our car brake stops working because the battery is already full. That makes our cars less energy efficient. Today, there are more than 25,000 Tesla superchargers like this in 2,700 locations worldwide. And that number is set to grow. Singapore, like Europe, uses the combined charging system plug, the CSS plug, which is unlike US where Tesla uses a proprietary plug. This makes it easier for Tesla superchargers here to support other EVs in the near future. I know that some drivers are not happy with that decision because it means potentially longer waiting times. However, Tesla's goal is to help accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and I believe it's the right thing to do in the long term. Here's my take on Tesla superchargers. I think they're a great branding opportunity for Tesla. It's a good way to connect the community not in car parks like this because it's super hot. You can see me sweating from top to toe. But when they start opening in parks like East Coast Park, Botanic Gardens, West Coast Park, and all the different parks in Singapore, cafes, restaurants, then the community can get together and evangelize Tesla. When it opens up to other EVs, this is also a good opportunity to switch other EV owners into Tesla owners. Tesla superchargers also solve two big pain points when it comes to owning an EV. First is range anxiety. As consumers see more of these superchargers island-wide, it will make it safer to own an EV. Second, long charging times. Many of us do not like waiting hours to charge our EV, and these superchargers can charge most EVs in under 30 minutes. And Tesla is today building a fourth version of the Tesla supercharger, which is up to 300 kilowatts. That's going to charge most cars under 15 minutes, really fast. Lastly, Tesla superchargers are supporting Tesla's mission of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. As they continue to build more of this, the network effects will multiply. And as EV adoption rises from 3% today to more than 80%, this will be a catalyst for Tesla to install thousands more superchargers every year around the world. Be prepared to see more Tesla superchargers in the near future. I personally believe that more than 50% of all the new public and private car parks in Singapore will be EV charging compatible by 2030 to help pave way for a greener country. What's your take on Tesla's superchargers? Are they a point of difference for Tesla? Do they make it easier for you to purchase an EV? Let's have a discussion in the comments right below. If you enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button, hit subscribe for future updates, and I'll see you in the next video. Whew, super hot. Sweating from top to bottom. T-shirts fully drenched. Still, I enjoyed shooting today's episode. Thank you for your support. So you just pull them out from the charging bank, like so, and plug them into your car. <laughs>